What is up YouTube, it's Mr. Best Kept Secret and I'm coming at you with the newest video of our Madden 25 owner mode with the new Mexico City Diablos and just looking at the top news stories here which I plan to do every single episode just to show you guys what's going on in the league besides our team and just showing the last week of the preseason news as it is now week one of the regular season of our St. Louis Rams last season in St. Louis. And guys, I just wanted to let you guys know uh, why I moved to uh, Mexico City because um, in previous games, uh, actually, I'll just get, I'll, I'll touch on that in a bit as I'll show you the uniform choices. Um, there's the classic uniform choices, there's the modern, and there is the traditional that is off to the right there. Um, the popularity poll really did uh, take a toll, take a. Uh, major uh, effect in what I wanted to do because I do want the fans to actually purchase these jerseys so it was pretty much between the modern and the traditional and since the traditional was way um, was voted for way more by the fans um, I was very much considering going with that one as well as the modern didn't really have a lot of that accent orange color whereas the traditional uh, kind of embraces what the Diablos are all about. We're all about that fire, we're all about uh, intensity, and I think these jerseys really show that. And the modern are definitely sleek, definitely cool. I think it would be cool if you had like a third jersey option, kind of like uh, one of the modern in the traditional section, but we end up going with the tra traditional jerseys. And let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. So, as you can see in the news section, it does say that the fans love the new uniforms, which is awesome, because I want them purchasing these jerseys. So, uh, anyways, guys, I moved to Mexico City because uh, in the Mexico City uh, fans, when you see in the last episode, it said that they had hardcore fans and uh, they had a huge market size. The market size was uh, it didn't really matter to me, but the loyal fan base really uh, really spoke to me because I had I had a off screen type of owner mode where the fans were laid back and it wasn't really that fun because you weren't really held accountable by fans in the game for decisions that you made and they really didn't care so I felt like having uh, a my YouTube audience however big or however small that may be um, as well as the uh, as well as the uh, fans in the game I felt that having that uh, extra pressure would extra pressure that would be put on by the fans of Mexico City and the fans uh, being you guys who I think would be very effective towards the overall series as you can see we are in week number two now and we're going to choose our new stadium and you get to see the first week of our scouting as we get to choose our stadium type first I didn't want to go with any of the basic ones I wanted to go with the deluxe you know you got to go all out when you're building a new stadium so basically all the basic ones were out and uh, I didn't really want to go with the Canopy Stadium. I wanted to go with one of the futuristic, the Sphere, or the tradi traditional. And basically, one of the ones that really spoke to me was the futuristic. I liked the way that it looked. I liked the way that uh, it was open at the top. Uh, the hybrid, I wasn't really sure about. I, ju I just really didn't kind of like it. Uh, the Sphere Stadium looked pretty cool, but I didn't want to play in a dome. Uh, I, didn't, I don't know, I just, I prefer, kind of, I'm kind of an outdoorsy kind of guy, so I would, I'm kind of torn between the traditional, because that's what it is, it's traditional, and the futuristic stadiums. I'm not 100% sure which one I'm going to go with, but the, um, what's great is that the city of Mexico City is going to be fronting a lot of the stadium cost. As you can see, it's 31%, or sorry, uh, three, yeah, I think that's 31%, and, uh, yeah, 31%, and it's very, uh, I like the way that it, uh, I like the way that the city is definitely funding it, as you can see, the Sphere Stadium's seating, you guys can pause that and look at that, uh, the Sphere has more than a traditional for, uh, upper level seating, and I believe that the Futuristic actually has more than the Sphere, so, I think we're gonna be going with that one in the long run, I think it looks a lot better, I think it looks a lot sleeker, I think you can do a lot more kind of stuff with it, and you know it might add to the skyline so we're going to choose that one and just to quickly answer the question on why I chose uh, Mexico City just before we start scouting players here is that I wanted a hardcore fan base and uh, I had an off-screen dynasty and the laid-back fans didn't make you accountable for any of your decisions and I want to make uh, the fans of Mexico City accountable and I want to also have uh, the pressure from you guys my YouTube audience as well as the fans in Mexico City uh, holding me accountable for my actions which would be awesome as you can see, uh, just quickly looking at the first round or first uh, 15 prospects, 
we know that we need a quarterback. And if we're going to build a brand new team, we might as well build around a brand new quarterback. So Shannon Dudzik, the projected first round, first overall pick from Wake Forest, a six foot three, two hundred and twenty four quarterback who is twenty years old, uh, definitely looks like a very intriguing prospect for us to look at. And that's the only prospect we're going to be scouting this week because we. Uh, we don't have a lot of scouting points yet. We don't have the bonuses for all that stuff yet. As I'm just going to take a look at the draft stories. And Jake Bellamy looks to be a story. Uh, a beastly tight end. As we go into our game against the Atlanta Falcons. And I will see you guys in the next week. Alright guys. Week 3 and of our St. Louis Rams. And another draft day story is. A young Minnesota hockey player. Oliver Florence. Wants to try football at his hand as a left outside linebacker. Which could be definitely very interesting because uh, we could use a lot of access, we could use a lot of uh, depth in the linebacker position. We are very young at that position, but Joe Lon Dunbar is, uh, I believe, he's 30 years old, so you never know. He might need a uh, young person to groom behind him, and I just automatically uh, progress the players as we look into our scouting again. As you can see, Shannon Dudzik doesn't pop up because he is actually scouted. So we're going to scout that Jake Bellamy, and he plays in a vertical offense, and his overall potential is actually an A letter grade. I believe in unlocking a lot of uh, letter grades for these prospects because then you can just quickly sort by which one you want. It doesn't mean that one's ratings are actually better than the other. It means that you just have a general outline and you don't have to spend a lot of scouting points to reveal their actual information as we're taking a look at another quarterback from Memphis, six foot three. 216 pounds um i'm going to be taking a long look at all the quarterbacks in the first three rounds of the draft because uh i just want to make sure that we're getting the best quarterback possible and i'm going to show you guys a really quick look at our finances here just the merchandise so far and uh so we're going to be looking i did price a lot of things down for the preseason so i'm just going to be raising them by like a buck or two you never know that uh, everything adds up in this owner mode as i uh i played through last time and uh yeah so let me know what you guys think about our jersey prices and all that kind of stuff in the comment section down below if you like the series so far definitely hit the like button and let me know what i can be doing better uh, as i like, commentating this series and uh what you want to see in the future because one of the plans that I have for the future is uh, the draft is for our first year. I plan on live streaming it. And I want to live stream it because I think that would be a very cool way to kick off the Mexico City Diablos uh, uh, reign. Or the Mexico City Diablos uh, entry into the NFL with their first ever first round pick. So yeah, wherever that may be, I'm not going to let you guys know yet. You'll have to keep watching. You'll have to hit that subscribe button to make sure you see all these videos. And yeah, just let me know if you like them or not as we're going to head into the next week. Alright guys, so we're in uh, week 4 here of the NFL season with the last season of the St. Louis Rams in St. Louis. And we're going to be doing a little bit more scouting. As we're just looking at pretty much all of our prospect options here, we have uh, Jed McDermott, a 6'3", 226-pound, 21-year-old quarterback from Salisbury College. Uh, basically just getting a little bit of uh, information on him. And as you can see, we already have three prospects that we're scouting so far. I like the bigger quarterbacks, uh, six foot, uh, probably two and above. Um, but I prefer if they have a lot of speed. Uh, throwing accuracy and all that kind of stuff isn't really a huge deal to me because that's just deals with the simulation and once I know I learned how to play with a quarterback I uh, I know how to use his strengths and weaknesses and as you can see they named our stadium the fire pit that's very fitting I really like that name actually I didn't get to choose the name which was uh, very interesting and uh, as you can see the hockey player who turned outside linebacker did not have a very strong first game which is very much expected of him but he might have a lot of very good potential so you never know and yeah, definitely let me know, guys, what you want to see in this series. As you can see, the Seattle Seahawks fell to the Jacksonville Jaguars at home, surprisingly, which uh, surprises me. But I'll see you guys in the next week. As you can see, week five, we have our media question. As I'm just going to quickly uh, progress the players, and then we're going to go to this media question. The are up and as you can right see, now. he's asking so us, the losses are starting to pile up right now. What needs to change? Personally, I'm going to answer the most generic question possible because I honestly don't know what means needs to change because uh, I haven't been looking at the box scores. I haven't been uh, playing the games, so I'm just going to say the most generic question possible, which is the first one. Uh, since I can't just say everything, I'd like this, uh, the coaching staff to come up with some better game plans, all that kind of stuff. Not necessarily blaming the coaching staff, but uh, just uh, saying in general that we need to improve. 
Alright, so we're going to be scouting here, and the four players that we've scouted so far, three of them have been quarterbacks, and uh, we're just going to get a lot of these uh, letter grades. Uh, we're just start to be getting these letter grades available and unlocked for these prospects, basically because I want to... Uh, I want to be able to com quickly compare them in the draft. I don't want to have to look through numbers. I can just see letter, 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 and then it'll be fine. And uh, I'll definitely be doing an in-depth uh, video later on the different types of uh, things that you can scout for everyone who hasn't played Madden 25 yet. Let me know if you'd like to see that in the comment section down below. I would definitely like to do that. And this is where I'll cut the video off, guys. Week 5 of the regular season. I'm Mr. Best Cap Secret. If you like the series, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, yeah, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to respond. And I will see you all in the next video, guys. I'll just leave it here on the news screen for you. I'm out.